name is Dominic and for you guys today I'm bringing you how to 3 star internet slash popular wall bases. I think this is a really cool idea. I have got a nice little app which will help me and aid me into explaining these videos for you guys and I think every weekend bringing you one of these videos will be awesome because during every week of the walls we will come across one internet slash popular base and one of us will definitely 3 star those kind of bases and I guess you guys must come across it because it is a popular base so it won't just come up in our walls of course you may see it as well and if you do come across it and you want to attack it or your friend wants to attack it then I'll always have a strategy on my channel for you guys to 3 star so again this is a town hall 9 I will be bringing you town hall 10 and town hall 8 attacks but this one in the first one will be a town hall 9 attack and guess who's attacking it it is me what a way to start off this little series here and so getting back to the base as you can see what strategy would you use on this base there's no position for double giant bombs so you'd obviously think gohog and that is my favorite strategy so if i just look at a giant bomb locations i'll just circle them here all you can get in giant bombs are those two locations down here and maybe in here and here and of course you can get them in these little square areas but i i'll just circle them in green these little square ones but i doubt they put the giant bombs in those locations because i definitely think there'd be teslas over there so the ones in the little circles in red, those are your most pop ideal places to put the giant bombs. Of course, there is no double. There's no place to put a double giant bomb. So that's already a benefit when you're going with the hog riders. And also, if I just look across at the top, so where would you start the attack with the go part of the attack? And of course, as you can see, the clan castle and archer queen are both towards the top of this base. So I definitely say you put you'd start attacking from this top area of the base. And of course, as you can see, there's only the archer, archer tower towards the nearest end of the wall. So you don't really want to put the two golems exactly on top of each other. So I'd say put one golem down at a time, and then once that golem, and then breach the first wall, and then put the second golem, and then you can start putting your heroes and your and your wizards. So once that's all done, I'd once you've done all that, and you put, a, I'd say put a jump spell right around here, so you can get into that part. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so bad with this, but it's fun. So yeah, I, what I'm showing is, once those defenses are down, put a jump spell on that hidden Tesla position, and they'll come straight into the core of the base, and also take out these mortars and air defenses. And sort of, and you'd expect this to take, her, take out about this whole section of the base, along with these structures about here as well. So that's what you'd expect your go part of a raid. And then once you start using the hog riders, I'd say... Well, oops, sorry. When you start using the hog rider part of a raid, I'd say first attack on positions where the giant bombs are. So the first, as you can see, the giant bomb is here, and there's another giant bomb down here as well. I don't know why info sign again is in the way. There you go. And so those are the places I attack. So I put a few hogs over here, and then the first heal spell will go down here, and then a few hogs here, and then the second heal spell can go down here. So if I just circle where you'd sort of put the heal spell, you put the first heal spell here, and again the second heal spell here, because the hogs will the hogs will be damaged by those giant bombs only one giant bomb straight away and then you can just heal them up and then there's no position for giant bomb except here but if there's a giant bomb if there's a giant bomb there and the tr and the hog rider does run into it, then of course you can put that one heal spell down your final heal spell down there but if there is no double giant if there is no giant bomb there then you can of course save your heal spell and once this whole area over here is of defenses is destroyed and the hogs are going to start making their way over here then you can start then you can put your final heal spell over there and that you guys and then once that heal spell or once those defenses are down you can have a ton of hog riders left over and this is going to be a beautiful three star attack and uh, everyone will be cheering you got cheering you on for that amazing attack so yeah let's just get straight into the replay and show you guys how it's done Alright, so as you see, I'm the one attacking at number 19, attacking their number 18 here. And I start off here by placing one golem right at the top there. I just start playing, I don't know why I paused it. And I spread out a lot of wizards around the back. None of us, not a single wizard is gonna is getting hit by any defenses. Now they're gonna start getting a bit hit by the mortars. But that's no problem, it's only mortars at the moment. And then I put my heroes down, followed by the golem. And I'm already, there you go, the first giant bomber has been triggered off and the clan castle has been triggered as well. And from there we can put down the jump spell, so once the golems are done with the defences, they'll hop straight onto that hidden tesla and those mortar and air defence. You can see the dragon and the 
Balloons got taken down so quickly by the Wizards and my Archer Queen. And again, as you can see, one giant bomb was there. Heal spell already pre-placed down so that the Hulks don't get too much damage. Again, the second giant bomb there. Heal spell placed down. And that's already two heal spells used quite quickly, but it's alright. And now the only place we can worry about is that next to those air sweepers and nope there's no giant bombs there and then we can now save our heal spell to put on that last corner there you go and the whole guards can run straight into there the heal spell protects them very nicely from that wizard tower so they're not going to take too much damage poison spell does go down on the king just to slow him down and damage him a little bit while the wizards too take a bit of damage on him and as you can see, oh wow, spring traps do take quite a lot, a lot of hogs out, there's, there's nothing stopping the spring traps, you can't really predict where spring traps are, but now as you can see, so many hog riders left over, enemy king has gone down and it is turning out to be a beautiful 3 star attack. About not too many hogs actually left over, about 6 or 5 hogs still standing, but enough to destroy the rest of the base. As you can see, we still got the golemite and a whole golem still standing, even though they got hit by the dragon and the balloons there, so one golem still standing and the queen is shooting at the wolf but as you can see she's full health with still her ability in hand to use didn't have to use her ability there, nothing went wrong in that attack and that is just a brilliant example of how to destroy this kind of base which doesn't really contain the double giant mom compartments and yeah so as you can see I can now start to use my queen's ability just to take down that last heavy hit point structure and now all you have left is the hog rider just doing the rest of the damage and the wizard on that and the wizard and archer queen on that dark elixir storage but there you go guys that is how you destroy this sort of four cornered base i don't know what name to give it but hope you guys enjoyed it and that's it for me and bye bye